Well, this won't necessarily be a new project because I've done little channel plates like this before, but uh, I was given some beautiful Murini cane chopped up from a friend. Uh, she doesn't sell it yet, but uh, she's local and had pulled some cane and I wanted to play with it. So thank you very much. You know who you are. Appreciate you, Mary. Um, and so here is the, um, the frame. It's just a rectangular stainless steel frame. I've lined it with fiber paper. Uh, where there is a seam, I've put a little bit of fiber paper behind there because that could, that could pull apart. And if it pulls apart and makes a gap, then your glass could stick. Uh, so there's a little slip of fiber paper butts back behind that. I have sprayed this a little bit with zip just to make the release a little bit easier. And uh, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line this uh, cane down the middle and then I'll cut some glass on each side. Uh, I don't even know what color I'll do yet to complement this beautiful blue, but um, let's go ahead and get started and we'll kind of see where the creativity takes me. All right, so now that I got all this in, you may have seen me using this. This is an earwax vacuum that I have. It's on my Amazon store. Uh, this little guy works great to pick up little frit. And when you saw I dumped the whole bag out, there were some chips and I was able to pick those up, but there was also some little, little bitty pieces. And so this worked well to get all of those up uh, so that they don't contaminate the rest of the piece. Now I gotta figure out kind of how do I wanna fill the rest of this space? So I'm gonna brainstorm a little bit and then come back and fill this space up and then we'll uh, go fire it. Well, I don't know, this could end up being a big mess. I wanted to use scrap, so I just uh, tried to fill in with a bunch of white uh, Tecta and other white scrap. Um, and I've tried to create enough volume that it'll all melt down and hopefully give me six millimeters. I might throw a little bit of clear frit in here just to kind of fill in some void so that I don't get any craters that open up. That could very well happen. There may be areas where I don't have enough volume of glass and I end up with a crater that opens. And I guess if that happens, then we'll just uh, learn from each other and see what I can do to fix it or to salvage this piece. Um, this is beautiful uh, Murini cane, and I don't want to—I don't want to lose this. Um, but uh, you know, we'll we'll figure it out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put some coarse clear frit in here, and then I'm going to fire this on a good long full fuse. I always put my schedule in the video notes here on YouTube. If you don't know how to find those video notes, then just uh, do a quick Google search and you'll figure it out. That's where I put my firing schedules and supply lists and those types of things. So I'm gonna add some frit, put this in, and we'll see what it looks like when it comes out. All right, here we go. Uh, so this turned out fairly well. It, as I expected, it's a little uneven here on some of the edge. So I'm gonna take this to my lap grinder and just kind of get a nice solid uh, edge on that. Uh, the underside looks cool. So I used different whites because I was just raiding my scrap bin uh, and I can tell the difference. Like this one's a little more dense than some of these colors. Uh, I had some space and so I filled it with clear frit. Uh, I could have just as easily have used a colored frit, I think, and that would have looked cool as well. But um, overall, I'm pretty pleased. There's a little bit of devitrification that happened here on some of this white. Um, the bottom side, you can also see the different pieces of white that I use. So I do think I like the top side better. I'm gonna take this to the flat lap, get it all nice and square it off. Um, I'm gonna dust it with clear powder and then do a fire polish on this just to uh, get a nice clean uh, finish, clean up the edges really nicely uh, before I slump it into some sort of uh, bowl mold. This, you know, the different colored white doesn't bother me so much. Um, I think you can kind of barely tell. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm just having fun more than, more than anything. So, um, I think that this will be something that will certainly still sell at a marketplace. I don't know that I'll, you know, this is not a gallery type piece, but this is something that somebody will love. So I'm going to go ahead and take it to that next step.
All right, well, that might have been a little bit more cold working than was necessary, but sometimes I feel like you just get started and you can't stop. So I'm gonna get this all cleaned up. I am gonna dust it with just a little bit of clear powder, as I mentioned, to try to take care of that devitrification. I'm gonna run it back in for a full fuse. So I'm not gonna have the, the nice sharp lines again on the edge, it'll it'll uh, smooth out a little bit, but that's okay. I think that, that uh, I think that'll work out just fine and look real nice, and then we'll slump it after that. Okay, and here's the finished piece. I slumped it in a bullseye ball mold. I put the little rubber bumpers on the bottom so that it would sit nice and flat. And generally I'm pleased with this. I know I said that um, I've featured the style of work in other videos, but if you're new to my channel, you may not have seen those. And I feel like there's always a learning opportunity and here was mine. One is to just make sure you're really careful about um, marking your scrap. For the most part, this white all looks good and kind of came together really well, but I was a little concerned about there being different whites here because I didn't have it fully marked very well. My other learning in hindsight, I wish I would have done this differently. I had some gaps that I needed to fill in and I should have just used some white frit and I didn't, I used clear. And then as a result, I got a little bit of a clear spot there. This should have been white frit instead of clear. This definitely should have been white frit because now it creates this kind of weird spot. And another one here, another one over here. So the thing is, you know, as the artist, I see this. I think this piece will sell well. I think somebody will love it. I love it. I think the colors are amazing. Thank you, Mary, again, uh, for the, the cane. I really appreciate it. Um, but, you know, if I were to do it over again, I would just, I think using white scrap worked very well for this piece. I was really delighted to use up some scrap, um, but I wish I had thought a little bit more about uh, these gaps and filling that in differently. So anyway, hope you learned something as well. Hope you enjoyed this piece. Subscribe. I got lots of content coming, guys. Catch you all later. Bye-bye.